In this video, we are going to cover the report that we get after running the PDAR tool in Prime Infrastructure. This report is key and very useful when we are planning our migration from Prime Infrastructure to Cisco DNA Center. My name is Lila Rousseau. I'm a technical solutions architect based out of Toronto in Canada. And with that, let's get into the report. This is the PDF file for the PDARD report. And the first thing we see is the version both for Prime and DNA Center. Here we have the recommended version for DNA Center. And it's important to note that all the information that we give throughout this report of what's supported or not supported will refer back to this version. So first page, we have a quick summary on all the aspects that the report is giving us information on, devices, use case reports, and scale. Let's scroll down and look at the first section, which is about device compatibility. So here, this is very important. We will see for every category of switches, wireless and controllers, and access points, what hardware is supported, what hardware is supported, but we might need to have a software upgrade, and also what devices are not supported. In this case, we can see the color coding, so it's and it's consistent across the board. Supported devices are shown in green. The devices that are supported in hardware but require software upgrade in orange, and the unsupported devices in red. So now let's scroll down a little bit further and we, hit, and we get a detailed matrix on every single device that's in prime infrastructure, whether or not that device is supported in DNA Center. We also called out the current software version for information. In this case, we can clearly see that we might have a problem with the 2960XR because it's currently in our prime infrastructure inventory, but it's not supported in DNA Center. Second area is scale. So the first thing we see here is a list of areas that are relevant for scale. And for all these areas, we show the usage in prime infrastructure. On the other side, we also show all the scale in the different appliances in DNA Center. And this is very relevant because even though we do provide a recommendation on what's the best appliance to use for DNA Center in this environment, we are only using the current deployment in prime infrastructure. If we are going to use DNA Center for a current deployment, and maybe we're planning to adding more devices or clients, uh, we need to also plan for that uh, future scale, and this information can be very valuable. Third section is about use cases. What capabilities in Prime we are currently using? This tool can currently detect 174 use cases. Think about these as signatures that we have in this tool that can identify these use cases. So we can see that we, when we run the report in our lab Prime instance, 47 of those use cases are being used. 103 are not, and 24 require manual check. What this means is that the tool at this point in time doesn't have enough information to provide 100% of an accurate output. So this will require manual checking from the network administrator. So now we take the use cases that are available in Prime, in this case, 47. And from those 47 use cases, we make the analysis on what's available in DNA Center. And we can see that from those 47 use cases that are being used in Prime, 32 are currently available in DNA Center, five are unsupported, and 10 are in roadmap. We combine all these use cases in different categories, and each of these categories are color-coded, similar to what we saw before. 
Next section will also cover the use cases, but this case, in this case, is going to be very detailed. Each of the used use cases are going to be shown here within the category, and we are going to have a clear identification on whether or not it's supported. And if it's supported, we can find where in DNA Center we'll find that capability. I mentioned before that in some cases, we cannot make a 100% decision on whether a use case is available or not available. So this requires manual verification. So in this case, we are going to have the comprehensive list for those use cases. Next section is reports. And in this particular prime infrastructure, I have no reports in use. So for this reason, I'm going to use a separate report as an example that it's more interesting. And we can see that the PDAR tool will analyze 130 potential reports, and we see that 10 are being used. Of those 10, two are supported in DNA Center, five are unsupported, and three in Roadmap. If we scroll down, we can get more detailed information on each of the reports, whether they are supported or not, and the equivalent report in DNA Center. This concludes our video. If you want to know more, visit our YouTube channel, our communities page, as well as Cisco.com. You can also contact your partner and your Cisco seller. Thanks for watching.